Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. So glad to have you guys joining with us today. We've got a word of encouragement, confession, and prayer coming up here in just a minute. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is my amazing wife, Amanda. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. But before we dive into the word today, I want to invite you into the chat. Post any praise reports, prayer requests that you may have. We would love to be praying together. And I want to invite you, as you see the different prayer requests, to join us in praying for them. And if you can let them know by just typing out the word praying or typing out a prayer, it so helps and encourages others to know that they're not alone. Yeah, we love to hear praise reports as well. Margie gave us a praise report. She said her son, his ultrasound showed kidney has improved. So we are praising God for that. And Molly said that her friend's surgery went well and she's on her way to recovery. So thank you so much for joining them in prayer. Yes, so, so good. Well, Sunday, Pastor gave a, a great word and he brought up Romans chapter 1, verse 21. And it's a really powerful um, verse. And I think it just kind of catches us often in a spot where um, we take some things for granted. And, and it starts out and he says, uh, For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. And I just... Sometimes in our Christian world, we get this idea that knowing or believing in God, and then we just check the mark. We're like, all right, that's enough. I believe the right stuff. I believe in God. So I'm set. And he's calling these guys out and goes, um, though they knew God. Yeah. And it starts there. They didn't honor him. And it gives us this opportunity for reflection going, I think most of the people who are watching this, or who watch this regularly, would say that they believe in a God. Yep. Uh, but going, it gives us the chance to examine ourselves and go, am I honoring God? Yeah. Am I glorifying God? And that's a whole nother level. And it's a, it's a whole nother thing. And if you, you're joining us and you're like, I don't know if I believe in God, we'll keep joining us and we'll keep sharing about him because I believe in him, I love him. But, but I love this challenge for all of us who go, yes, I know and I believe, to go, am I glorifying, am I honoring? And what does that look like? And and Pastor got into it a little bit, a little bit. He spent a lot more time on it than I can this morning. <laughs> but I wanted to just look at this one thing, and, and he made a bit of, of comments on, um, he, he covered it from 1 Thessalonians 4, but when God says something, and I want something, and they collide, what happens? And because he just started out that glorifying God, honoring God, to render, to prize, to get to, to esteem highly. Um, and I, I like that, to esteem highly. What opinion do we esteem most highly? Is it my opinion and my desire? Is it culture's opinion? Is it God's word? Is it God's opinion? And I love this so simple of going, all right, in my life, when my will and God's will collide, whose will wins. You know, going, all right, what does it look like in my marriage? Yeah. What about when I have a strong opinion? <laughs> and I have those. Um, yeah. And, and feelings going, do I get to treat you how I feel or do I get, have to treat you how God says? And I think that's just such a, a real spot for so many of us of going, hey, what does it look like when you want to just give them a piece of your mind and just say all of these different things to your spouse, but the Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit, and it tells me that I'm supposed to lay my life down for you? Like, how am I going to treat you? Yeah. What about with my kids? What about with my entertainment? Um, big one. It is, and it's, it's so big because it shows whose standard am I trying to live by? Because it's so easy to go, well, everybody's watching it. You know, to go, hey, this is this is just normal. This is what everybody does. And to go through going, well, is my standard what everybody else does or is my standard what God says? Yeah. And I think holding him in high esteem is going, God, your standard matters no matter what other people's standards or opinions are. Yeah, well, and I loved what Pastor said. I mean, he said, we don't pray about what the Bible says and think about, oh, well, the Bible says it. I'll pray about whether or not I need to listen to that part. <laughs> You know, it's if the Bible says it, we just do it. And there's another scripture and it says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. 
Yes. And that's one of the ways we show God that we love him is by obeying, regardless of whether we like it, regardless of whether it makes us feel comfortable or good inside, regardless of what it means about somebody else in my life. Sometimes it's hard to say something is sin because someone we love is committing that sin. And so yeah. it's hard to admit, oh, someone I love might be sinning. But Dwayne had said, he, Pastor was very clear on what the Bible says. When the, I mean, God says you're supposed to hate other people compared to how much you love God. Yeah. That means that when somebody else's opinion comes up against God's opinion, we oh, say, so you good. are wrong. No matter how much I love that other person, no matter how important they are to me, God's word trumps what anyone else says or what anyone else thinks, no matter what. I love the way you put that because it, it does put this in perspective of going, when, when culture, when my friend is doing something or has an opinion and it comes into this with God, it's going, who trumps? Yeah. And when you recognize that either God trumps what they're doing in their opinion or I am putting their opinion as Trump over God and his word. Yeah. And if I am putting something else in higher esteem, then I am not seeking God first. Yeah. He is not first. And though I know God, I am not honoring God. And that's just such a powerful thing. And I want to invite you to examine yourself and go, all right, God, I believe in you. Am I honoring you? Yeah. And with that, it is time for confessions. You pick your set. <laughs> <laughs> You're going back and forth. I can only do one. <laughs> so repeat these after me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. The same power. The same power. That raised Christ from the dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Lives in me. Lives in me. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I am more than a conqueror through God. I am more than a conqueror through God. God is my healer and redeemer. God is my healer and redeemer. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I resist the devil and he flees from me. I resist the devil and he flees from me. My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. God, I thank you that we can have powerful and effective prayers, that we can come before you, God, that we would know you and that we would honor you. God, that we would esteem you highly and put your word above other things. And God, that you would guide us, that you would direct us, that we would honor you and that we would live a life that draws others towards you. And I ask that you have your way in every part of our lives and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Be blessed, and we'll see you then.